just have enough time to define it and compute a few. So we'll start with the definition. So we'll do a two-dimensional definition first. So we'll take V and we'll take V U and V to be in R2. So that means V is Let's go A1, B1, I'll have two coordinates, and then U, A2, B2. So if we do the dot product, it looks a lot like multiplication. So you used to write multiplication with a dot. This is technically, uh, this is called the dot product, so in, it has going to have some properties of multiplication. Not necessarily all of the ones you're used to, but <clears throat> U dot V all you're going to do is multiply the corresponding parts together and then you're going to add up the products at the end. So it's going to be A1, A2 plus B1, B2. Is this going to give us a vector or a number? This last line here, is that a vector or a number? That'll be a number. So it's a little strange. You're going to dot product two vectors, and you're going to get a number out of it. So you're going to multiply two things and get something that's different. So that's going to be a little bit strange. So we'll do an example. All right, so dot product is written right on the board, except I wrote it in IJ notation, the example, and the dot product I did diamond notation. So I personally like diamond notation better, so I'm going to switch right into diamond notation first, and now compute in diamond notation. So I do two times four plus negative three times one, so it's 8 minus 3, and we get 5. All right, next example. Let's get crazy and go to three dimensions first before we do this example. All right, so dot product in R3. So U and V are three-dimensional vectors now, so they're going to have a third coordinate. So we'll just use the letter C for the third coordinate. So we got A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2. And we dot together. It's going to be exactly like it was before. You just get a plus C1, C2 at the end. So you're just multiplying coordinates together. A1, A2, plus B1, B2, plus C1, C2. So when you see what it looks like in three dimensions, you can probably imagine it in four dimensions. You just have the add the, multiply the last two coordinates together and add them on. So dot product is easy to compute in any dimension. All right, we'll do one more computation here. All right, I recommend you write in diamond notation. You do not have to, but I think diamond notation is better. Uh, there is one very compelling reason to use diamond notation. What is missing in our first vector here? So how many i's do we have? Zero. Zero. So you don't really see that in i, j, k notation. You don't see the missing component. So if we write in diamond notation now, I have to fill in a value for the i component. So I have to fill in 0. And you get 3. How many? What's my z coordinate of my first vector? 
negative 1. So it also is sometimes not clear using 1 or negative 1 because we generally don't write minus 1k. We just write minus k. And then dot, <coughs> we have 1 minus 4, 3. So in diamond notation, multiply, take the dot product of these two vectors. So you should get negative 15 for this dot product. And the last dot product we're going to compute, we're going to do a dot product with uh, a vector with itself. So compute this dot product now. So we're just dotting a vector with itself. And we get 26. So any questions on this self dot product? What is another way to write this right here? That looks very familiar. What is another way to think about that? X squared, y squared. So what property of this vector does that represent? It's not the vector itself, but what property of the vector? Squared. So there aren't too many properties of vectors we looked at. One of them was magnitude. So it looks like magnitude, but not quite. What's wrong with just saying this is magnitude? There's no square root on the left side. So if I say it's magnitude, it's actually magnitude squared. So that would take out that square root. So we just got another identity right here that magnitude squared is equal to the dot product with itself. So there's one more identity we have. So if you're a dot product with yourself, that's your magnitude squared.